My name is Harold Brown. The title of my book is Star Spangled Security. My visit to China, the first visit by a U.S. Secretary of Defense uh, <clears throat> to the People's Republic of China, uh, took place in 1980. In the U.S. government, there were two schools of thought about this. Uh, then Secretary of State Cyrus Vance was very concerned that any emphasis on a military-to-military -military relationship between the U.S. and China would uh, be bad, taken very badly by the Soviet Union. He was concerned that this might derail the strategic arms talks between the U.S. and the Soviet Union and prevent the execution of a treaty which would further limit strategic nuclear arms. Zbigniew Brzezinski, uh, President Carter's assistant for national security affairs, was very much in favor of using relations between the U.S. and China to pressure the Soviet Union. Uh, this uh, difference of opinion uh, led to a careful analysis and a decision by President Carter uh, that we would go ahead and send me uh, on my visit to the, Pe to the People's Republic of China. Uh, the position I took during these discussions was this would undoubtedly <clears throat> uh, irritate the Soviet Union, but it was in the interest of the U.S. to do it anyway. The Soviets clearly didn't like the idea. Uh, however, uh, just a couple of weeks before my visit, they invaded Afghanistan, and that greatly overshadowed any uh, effect of the, uh, my visit to China as an irritant in U.S.-Soviet relations. The Chinese were clearly concerned about the number of Soviet forces on the Chinese border. <clears throat> and they amounted probably to about 40 divisions. Military to military relations between the U.S. and China uh, were, as a result, uh, quite important to them. They were important to us as well uh, because those 40 divisions could, if the Chinese chose to align with the Soviets rather than with the United States, uh, be moved to Europe and threaten Europe. That was a considerable motivation to us and in particular to our own military people, to support the idea of normalization between the U.S. and the People's Republic of China. The Chinese did ask uh, for some advanced military technology which we were not prepared to transfer. Uh, they wanted some advanced aircraft engines, for example, and we were not yet ready to do that. Uh, but night vision systems, for example, we did supply to them. All the things that would be important in defending against a Soviet, possible Soviet attack, we were open to supplying. We both saw the Soviet Union as the principal uh, threat to world peace. In fact, uh, that undoubtedly uh, contributed uh, to uh, the success in normalizing relationships.